my new Seville My tribe went down in the Hall of Fame Cause I'm the one who shot Jesse James Power for power, I will never break down Big Bang. No sir, I don't mess around Oh! Sabi, of course it's me, a better known as the Master G. A fucking in squad, sense the danger, when it's done about the rapping ranger. Have a little talk with my medicine man, he said get them squads fast as you can. To all you girls that want to join my tribe, just move to my rhythm and feel my vibe. Put up a fuss in the end, you'll agree, but when you come inside, my TV, as I said before, you can sense the danger, when you're stung about the rapping ranger, with Silver and I, take a ride, all you teams better step aside, I stay in the squads, then run away, how Silver is what I'll say, how on the committee of the club, so I'm quite familiar with it. Okay. And uh, we've been following its activity for a number of years, giving it support, and will continue to do so. But this particular activity, the dance, has really caught on. 
and they've been very successful in some of the competitions they've been in and they've brought quite a lot of activity to children who otherwise might be at a board and at a loss for something to do. Excellent, they have, they've been really, really good to them. You can see the passion yep. in them as well. So um, how do you get involved with them? Do you have a, um, a grandchild involved in the club? No, uh, sadly my grandchildren are too old to be members of the club now. Are they? But uh, I think they regard me as sometimes the oldest member of the club. Excellent, saw so you taking part, you did really, really well. So what are your visions for the club in the future? They've got this, um, they've got this campaign to build a gymnasium type room on the back of the club. And they're fundraising for that and uh, that should attract even more members and take even more children into a, um, an active phase instead of being bored at home. So you hope to grow and hope get them involved in extracurricular so they've got something to do and somewhere to go and have fun and absolutely. use their skills rather than That's absolutely playing right. on the Xbox yeah. or PlayStation like they do. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, okay. Bill. That's fantastic. Cheers. You're welcome very well. Thank you. Hi, just a small interview with Countess Howe now. Hello, nice Hello. to meet you. My name's Hello. Hi, um, so how did you get involved in the club? Misunderstood. Yes, I was asked to go and do an assessment for them for the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service and I was so impressed by what I saw that I thought I'd come back today and see what they were doing. That's fantastic. So is that only recently you got yep. involved? Only recently, although I am involved with Action for Youth in Buckinghamshire. Um, and they work with all the youth clubs, um, supporting them, offering training um, and those sort of initiatives. Initiatives, that's yeah. brilliant. It's really good prospect for young students as well. Saw you getting involved in the flash mob earlier, that's fantastic. You got I'm some so really bad good coordinating. So you're excellent, much better than I would do anyway. So um, what did you think of the flash mob today and what do you hope to gain from it? They are they have an incredible talent they're, and they're so motivated. And I think that's the best thing, that it draws them all together. They all want to dance. Uh, it's very positive. And hopefully it should promote the club, shouldn't it, for it to grow and get more kids involved and young learners. Absolutely. And, Publicity is always difficult to get because people don't tend to recognise good things that's going on. You normally get publicity for negative things. That's so true. It's excellent talent and hopefully I hope to see them grow. Thank yeah. you for your time. That's Appreciate lovely. That. Nice to Thank meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well. Bye. Um, today we're speaking to Mimi, the Mayor of Amersham. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, Hello. how are you? Lovely to I'm meet good, you. I'm good, thank you. So how did you get involved with uh, Miss Understood? Um, I'm the Cabinet Member at Chiltern District Council for Community, Young People and everything to do with young people. I have to say, Susan is a star in our community Brilliant. and what she does with her youth group is absolutely amazing. Yeah, because I understand she's built it all herself, hasn't she, she has. from the beginning? She has, and her passion, her dedication, all that she does, what it does is it inspires the rest of us and enthuses the rest of us to want to come and support her. Good role model as well for the absolutely. young students. I think that's well. really, really important actually. I mean, we're sort of, doing, we're sort of talking in a light-hearted way, but that's probably the most important part of all of this. Especially with yourself, you took involved in the flash mob early, that's brilliant. The, the young I tell you, it made me realise I can't dance anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're better than me anyway, you did really, really well. Oh, it was fun. It so was what really do you hope fun. for Miss Understood to, um, what do you hope for them to gain from the flash mob? I hope they get lots and lots of publicity. I know it's all about fundraising for them and all I will say to people is if there is a group of young people who work hard and really, really make an effort to get out there to earn their fundraising, this group of young people is it. So come out there and support Miss Understood and film, empty those pockets and put it all into their coffers because they've got some really great projects that they need supporting and they do it all themselves. That's why we're all out here supporting them. We've had some amazing people turn out today Excellent. to come and support them and that's why because they've set an example to everybody. Totally. You can see the passions in there. That's Absolutely. the way they work. It's really, really good. Absolutely. And aren't they great dancers? They're fantastic. The They're great dancers. They're all really, really good. All of them freestyle. It's really, really good. If I had freestyle, I'd probably stand still. <laughs> well, do you know, I was watching them actually doing their dancing around there and I just thought, do you know, I wish... I so wish that I had the courage to go out there and do something, but Still I didn't. Still have the moves. Oh, maybe, hopefully, the next day we'll see you do freestyle. We'll let us see that. What a temptation. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. It was Absolutely lovely brilliant. to meet you. Thank you thank so you. much. Real pleasure. Cool. Just a quick interview with Ebony. Ebony, I believe you've been with the club since the age of 11 years old. Yeah, that's right. So how are you finding it at the club? Um, I think it's amazing. It's like a massive family. Um, I just love it. I love it. TV. It is a really nice tight knit family. The way I saw all of you get involved there with the flash mob. Yeah. You're really creative and really into it. So um, you've got someone really, really young, and then you've got um, older group of students as well. So what yeah. age group are we looking at? Um, well, we're looking at Boo, who's our little mascot baby, and he's about two, three. And then you go up to older age range, probably 22. I'm one of the oldest at 21. So. Excellent. 
excellent and you all work really well together do you find that the age is a bit of an issue with the being some younger no i find in some situations the age might be an issue but in our situation it's not because we literally grow up together we're a tight community and we literally like i said just like a really tight family it's like it's like the younger children and the older adults so it's like having brothers and sisters and stuff so, so you're really there to support each other and look yeah. out for each other yeah. you did some wonderful work over there. there's lots of creativity yeah so you're meeting quite often to practice this or just once a week um, yeah, we meet like t uh, three times a week as a youth centre, but once a week for the darts. But we do see each other a lot, and we do get a lot of time with each other to work through things and sort of things out. So. Yeah. And how do you find the balance? Have you got education commitments as well? Um, the others must have too. Yeah, a lot of us have education commitments. A lot of us have work, um, but we always find time to come together to do it. Always, there's never like anyone that lets you down. It's your number one passion. You can see with yeah. the dedication in there. And what do you hope to achieve finally as well from this flash mob? Um, I don't know really. Me personally, I think I've achieved everything I can achieve from coming here. But for the little children that come here, I hope that we all, all the older lot, um, help them to achieve something in their life. Help them believe in themselves. Help them get somewhere and just give them the confidence and the let them know that they can do whatever they want to do if they put their mind to it. I really like so that. I really like the way you said that. Yeah, so the sky's limit. That's fantastic. I wish you so much success, everyone. Right, thank, thank you for you. your time. All right, thank you. Bye.